So let's look at text. These days, the favored approach is to use some massive off-the-shelf model pre-trained on lots of data. So for example, OpenAI released a version of their GPT-2 model with over uh, 800 million parameters. And, but now researchers and practitioners are also beginning to understand that you need to infuse these models with knowledge or tune them for your specific application domains. So the objective is to build a machine reading comprehension system and just like in self-driving cars, where you have predetermined levels of autonomy, uh, progress in terms of machine reading will happen in stages. So uh, right now we're in the simple notification and FAQ assistance, but over time they'll become more personalized and we'll have autonomous assistance. Now we have numerous sessions and text, including uh, talks from uh, people in healthcare, finance, media, and more. Now, what about uh, pre-trained models for speech? There are a few reasons why one-size-fits-all speech model hasn't quite yet materialized. You know, uh, spoken language is just not as precise as written text. And even if you have access to the best speech-to-text technology available, you often end up with a document with sentences that contain pauses, fillers, restarts, interjections, and ungrammatical constructs that make it very difficult. But uh, even with these challenges, there are many areas where speech has grown in recent years. Uh, for example, Comscore estimates that, estimates that by the end of 2020, about half of all online searches will use voice, which is pretty remarkable. And uh, smart speakers are, are expected to grow by more than 82% from 2018 to 2019. And by the end of the year, the installed base for such devices is expected to exceed 200 million.